Situated at the foothills of the Himalayan region, Northeast India can be developed into a tourist spot for all kinds of tourism. This region is surrounded by hill ranges and several swift and slow flowing rivers owing to its location at the foothills of the Himalayas. The unique geographical diversity has therefore attracted nature and adventure tourism as well. Flowing through the heart of Assam, the Brahmaputra bears witness to the thousand-year-old history of Assam. Several temples constructed in the Brahmaputra Valley in the ancient times bears testimony to the glorious early history of Assam. The sacred island Umananda is mentioned as Posma Sol or Posma Huilo in Kalika Purana and Yogini Tantra. The Umananda temple was built in 1694 in this sacred island of same name during the reign of Ahom King Godadhar Hingha. Seen from Kosari Ghat at Guwahati, this island is situated in the very midst of the mighty Brahmaputra. It is believed that Lord Shiva turned Kamdev into ashes for disturbing him in his prayers. According to another belief, Lord Shiva resides in this island to provide Ananda, that is, happiness to Uma, his wife, and hence the island is named Umananda. Since early times, this sacred island has been an attraction for pilgrims. Journey to this island through the flowing waters of the Brahmaputra is full of romance and thrill. Hondiasol Hills, situated 12 kilometers from Guwahati, is surrounded by the three streams namely Hondhya, Lolita and Kanta. Bohisto Ashram, the hermitage of Sage Bohisto, is located in this enchanting hill of Hondhyasol. Chronicles of this enchanting hermitage include numerous legends, folklore, and tales from the Puranas. It is a center of attraction for pilgrims and tourists alike. Kamakya is regarded as the holiest of all the sacred places in India. The temple of goddess Kamakya, famous all over India, is situated in the Nilasol Hills and Guwahati. The Kalika Purana, Yogini Tantra and the Puranas abound in various stories and legends with regard to the origin of the Kamakya temple. The beauty of the tea gardens scattered all over Assam appeals to the eye. The scenic beauty of the rows of tea plants in the gardens of Assam is fascinating, while the taste of Assam tea is appealing to the palate. And these put together might attract tourists to Assam. The Kajirunga National Park, famous in the world for its one-horned rhino, is situated by the 37 National Highway, 217 kilometers east from Guwahati. Efficient supervision has led to the rise in population of the one horn rhino, which now stands at an approximate number of 2,000. Tourists from all over the world visit the park to see the one horn rhino, one of the oldest living species of mammals. Elephant rides and vehicles are provided to the tourists for tour inside the park. To see the rhino from close quarters, while riding an elephant through the veil of mist in a wintry morning is a lifetime experience. Besides the boisterous movement of other birds and animals and their panic at the presence of others thrills the tourists. Witnessing the herds of deer wandering in the park also provides a unique experience to the tourists. The park is open for tourists in the month of November every year with the onset of winter. Home to the one horn rhino, the park also shelters the wild elephants. This vast expanse of about 860 square kilometers is shelter not only to the one horn rhino but also to several other rare species. The vastness and biodiversity therein is awe inspiring which provides the tourists with a great sense of pleasure. Taking time away from the mechanical life and polluted environment and spending time in the vicinity of the park, in the serene and tranquil atmosphere, the tourists gain a unique sense of satisfaction. Touring the park, one would realize that this vast expanse of land 
is nature's unique gift to the one horn rhino. The diverse fauna of a forest determines the diversity of flora within it. Some plants require special temperature and environment for their flourishing growth. The presence of various kinds of orchids adds to the beauty of the park and is a delight to the tourist's eye. Almost 5.58% of its total landmass is covered by water bodies and swamps due to which it provides a suitable home for the fish-eating animals and birds. This is a matter of pride for the people of Assam. The one-horn rhino is Kajiranga's flagship animal. An excellent natural habitat for the one-horn rhino, Kajiranga National Park also provides parallel conservation to various rare species of flora and fauna. The park is the habitat of rare bird species such as the pelican among others. On average, more than 50,000 tourists, local and foreign, visit the park annually. As a result, Kajiranga National Park is considered as one of the major hotspots for wildlife tourism. The preservation of a forest cover not only ensures safety to the flora and fauna, but also develops immensely the potential for wildlife tourism. The natural beauty of Assam may lure the nature lovers to this place for tourism. It is the only habitat for peacocks in Assam. It is another habitat for the one horn rhino. With its enchanting natural beauty, the Manas National Park has a biodiversity that is unique to it. Situated right at the heart of the city is a very significant monument, the Hibodol. Constructed in 1794 by Queen Ombika, the wife of the Ahom Sorgodil, Hibo Hingho. Numerous devotees of Lord Shiva come to this temple to light lamps and offer their prayers every day. Sipsagar can be properly developed into a site for heritage tourism and pilgrimage with proper emphasis on the ancient architecture of the Ahoms reflected in the monuments constructed by them. Ronghor, Karinghor and Tolatolghor are examples of architectural edifice that reflect a unique Assamese culture of the Ahom period. The Ronghor, built during 1696 to 1714 under the Ahom king Rudrohingho, is acclaimed as the first amphitheater of the Asian continent. The tradition of celebrating Rongali Bihu in the open fields of Ronghor through a showcasing of culture including music and dance performances of all tribes of Assam continues even today since the days of the Ahom kings. Such display of tradition and cultural heritage seems to be rare in the whole world. Assam's tourism sector may be developed by taking into account its multicolored cultural heritage. <laughs>